Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I'm wondering if I can run this 12 volt LED light bulb off of a Ryobi 18 volt battery. Will that work? Uh, will the light bulb explode? Will I wreck it? Who knows? But let's test it. So right here I've got a benchtop power supply. I've got it set to a voltage that would be common to a 12 volt battery. And if I screw the light bulb in all the way, it lights up. It works exactly the way it's supposed to a 12 volt light bulb running on a 12 volt power supply, just like it would a battery. We're at uh, two thirds of an amp at 12.8 volts. So we're at what, 8 point, um, let's see, 8.6 8 watts. Um, so between an eight and a nine watt light bulb right here. But let's say our 12 volt battery is running down. Uh, maybe a dead 12 volt battery would typically be like 10 and a half. It's still going. And if we keep dropping it, I'm seeing it starting to fade now. Major drop right there, but it looks like it can go down to as low as about five volts. It's not quite full brightness though. Looks like about 10 volts or so is when it it hits full brightness. So that'll easily run the whole range of uh, a typical 12 volt battery. Uh, when a 12 volt battery is charging, it could be over 13 volts, maybe even 14 volts. Still no issues here. Now, uh, what about the Ryobi battery though? It says 18 volts, but how many volts is that really? If we take a look here, on this four amp hour battery, 18 volt, uh, fully charged. It actually reads uh, about 20 and a half volts. And here is one that's half run down. And this is at 17 and a half volts. So there's always a range of voltage depending on the state of charge of a battery, whether it's lead acid or lithium. So let's take this up to a half charge Ryobi battery, uh, about 17 volts. Okay, so it works fine. Now what about that fully charged one, 20 and a half volts? Okay, no issues. Uh, light bulb didn't blow up, nothing popped. We didn't let out the magic smoke. Now I know that this power supply can actually go up to 30 volts, so let's try that. Still no difference, everything looks good. Okay, I got that cranked. Um, now, the one thing I am seeing is we're at a little bit more than uh, a third of an amp at uh, close to 30 volts. So we're pretty close to uh, 10 watts. So the bulb is a little bit less efficient when it's cranked at uh, 30 volts, but that is a little out of spec for what this is designed for. But if we take it back down to like around 20, uh, looks like the light bulb is um, still running pretty efficient, no issues, works just fine. And what that means is that we should be able to run this light bulb straight off of a Ryobi battery. All we need is a simple physical adapter. So I'll screw the light bulb in here and boom. You can run a 12 volt light bulb, at least this one, this Feet electric 12 volt LED light bulb directly off a Ryobi 18 volt battery.